Hi guys, I'm Bernie and welcome back to another Dynamic English video, where we introduce fun tutorials to make your learning much easier. Christmas is celebrated across the world in many ways, with a variety of traditions, decorations, food and family gatherings. With Christmas just around the corner, we're going to be exploring traditions between Latin America and the UK, and introducing vocabulary that you can use to talk about them. Let's get into it. Decorations are usually one of the first signs that the Christmas season has arrived in many countries across the world. For example, one of the most popular Christmas scenes displayed across Latin America is the Nacimientos or Pesebres, which can be seen in many streets, churches and homes. In English, this translates to nativity scene. While it's a popular decoration in many UK homes, Latin America still comes out on top for their sheer variety of nativity scene displays. While this form of decoration is becoming more popular across Latin America, the Christmas tree is iconic to the UK festive season. These are usually decorated with baubles, tinsel, fairy lights, and a star or angel on top of the tree. In comparison, in Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro, traffic jams line the streets to view the very large Christmas trees decorating Ibera Puera and Lagoa. Other popular decorations include stockings, ornaments, oranges, and Christmas crackers. The best part of the season, at least in my opinion, boasts a large variety of food types enjoyed by families across Latin America. Some of these include tostones, lechon, cerdo, chancho, tamales de navidad in Mexico and Central America, or hayacas in Venezuela. A popular Christmas dessert that has many forms and names, including pan dulce, panettone, pristinos, or pan de pasca, pan de pascua in Chile, is also enjoyed in the UK and is known as bread and butter pudding, and is usually served with custard. To wash down this dessert, we might have a glass of eggnog, which is similar to coquito from Puerto Rico, cola de mono in Chile, or ponche crema in Venezuela and Colombia. Except instead of spiced rum, we use brandy in the UK. Just like much of Latin America, the focus of the UK Christmas meal is the meat. This usually takes the form of roast turkey, beef or ham. Some of the accompaniments to this meal might sound a little strange, but hear me out. Yorkshire puddings, gravy, Brussels sprouts, stuffing, roast potatoes, pigs in blankets, and cranberry sauce. What on earth is a pig in a blanket? It's a sausage wrapped in bacon, of course. Now, let's move on. Hey guys, you might not know this, but we're actually a language school based in Santiago, Chile, with over 70 native teachers. We can conduct classes from your home and from your office outside of the COVID-19 pandemic, and we can always conduct classes online. Classes can be individual or group-based and are always dynamic and conversational. Once or twice a month, we also hold exclusive dynamic workshops where you can practice your English with our own native teachers as well as other students. If you would like a personalised invite to this event, then please check out the newsletter in the subscription below. Now, back to the video. Magical gifts that appear at Christmas are delivered by many different faces. Santa Claus, or Father Christmas as he is known in the UK, is a familiar one. Another known gift giver is Papa Noel in most of South America, San Nicolas in the Caribbean, and Santa Claus in Central America. And a spotlight on special cases such as Viejito Pascuero in Chile and Colacho in Costa Rica. In some countries, the gifts are delivered by Mino Jesus, but the tradition is slowly disappearing. In the UK, gifts and presents from friends and family are usually exchanged across the festive period, but usually opened on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. One religious tradition celebrated in some Latin American countries is Misa de Gallo, which translates to Midnight Mass. As the name suggests, it is celebrated late at night and sometimes finishes with a traditional meal. Some traditions in the UK relating back to religion include mistletoe. Druid priests from a long time ago said that if two people met under a tree and the tree had mistletoe on, they weren't allowed to fight beneath it. 
In the 18th century, this developed into the kissing ritual that we know today. Carols were not Christmas themed at all, but sung by pagans during the winter solstice. But the word carol means a dance or a song of praise and joy, and was eventually adopted by Christmas traditions. Okay, now I am going to read some Christmas traditions from across Latin America that were sent in to us. So apparently in Argentina, it's a common gift to give pink underwear on the night of the 24th with the intention to wear for the first time on the 25th as a symbol of fertility. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a good Valentine's gift, but go Argentina. Okay, so apparently in Guatemala, uh, people usually dress in newly bought clothes and the festivities begin on December the 7th with the traditional burning of the devil or La Puema del Diablo. So I don't know about you, but it gets very cold during the winter here. So if I was doing this tradition, I know I would be very warm. So keep it up. Okay, and in Mexico, the Christmas period begins nine days earlier than the rest of the region. Uh, with the famous Posadas, and as of December the 16th, the pilgrimage of Joseph and Mary is remembered and in search of a place for the child Jesus to be born. That's quite nice. I know that a lot of traditions still honour some kind of religious pilgrimage in their celebrations, so cool. And the last one is uh, the Day of the Candles marks the beginning of the Christmas season in Colombia. Uh, in honour of the Virgin Mary and the Immaculate Conception. Uh, people place candles and paper lanterns in windows, balconies and gardens. I think I've seen pictures of this before and it, I don't know, the pictures made it look very beautiful, very, um, it's felt very peaceful. So I don't know, that seems like a very beautiful tradition to me. There are still so many traditions that cannot be covered in one video. So if you have any ideas or any traditions that you would like to share, or if you want to comment on anything that's been mentioned in this video, please put your comments in the box below. We would love to hear them. Okay, we have now come to the end of the video. If you have enjoyed what you've watched today, then please hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified every time we post a new video. If you would like daily tips and tricks to help your English learning, then follow us on Instagram at Dynamic English. And to book a course with a native teacher today, you can find us on www.dynamicenglish.cl. And most of all, I wish you and your families a happy, healthy and safe Christmas holiday. Thank you and bye for watching. What? Thank you and bye for watching. That's a new one. <laughs> you can check out more videos from this channel with plenty of playlists to help you with your English learning over here. Somewhere.